good afternoon guys it's Jenny here from Just Jenny Journaling welcome back to my channel uh, quick flip through share here of this um, beautiful uh, botanical journal that I've just finished and we've call, I'm calling her Anemone um, mainly because of the uh, beautiful feature um, um, oh, blue um, in, the, in the inside cover and I've managed to pick up some other bits and pieces that kind of reflect that too so this is a custom order for Pam, who's been really, really patient. Um, so she wanted something very similar to a uh, vintage magnolia that I did a few months ago. And we agreed on it and um, I started the project before and then the lockdown kicked in and everything went mad. And so it's been a little bit longer than, than I um, imagined to, to make. But anyway, it's on it's on its way. Um, it's on its way in the morning. So it's a hard, repurposed hardback book. Um, I've popped lace on the back, scrapbook paper with some stamping on it as well. And um, it's got um, fabric, um, beautiful fabric on the cover and the um, sort of nameplate and some corner, corner bits and pieces and a lovely tassel. Uh, not tassel, like a bead dangle, if you can see. So that's um, vintage and uh, pre-loved. Um, jewelry on that dangle and um, she wanted it to be kind of a botanical a vintage botanical and that's what I've done so there's this one here and I've done a sister um, journal to this one um, I've done this one's called iris and iris will be uh, for sale um, just gonna uh, do a couple of extra bits to her Um, so, yeah, so let's go straight in. She's only got two signatures and uh, a real lovely selection of papers um, and lots of bits and pieces uh, to have been added. So um, what I've done here, I've got some uh, music paper. It's from the 1930s, some vintage music paper. And for the first signature, I've basically um, collaged just some bits. Where is, where's the back? Where's the back? Oh yes. So um, done some. Uh, well, layered these beautiful um, blooms, and these ones are from a book called Mr. Marshall's um, Flowers, and it's from the 1700s. Absolutely beautiful. So what I did with this was um, put it onto a little bit of uh, paper, just a bit of like a card, and then um, I've done the stamping on it. I've popped the beautiful image on it and then I've gone over it with an acrylic medium, um, a sort of clear acrylic medium, and that's front and back. I think that's absolutely beautiful. This is from the same book. Um, this was a centre page and I just thought, well, that goes nicely, but she can take it out and make, you know, put it wherever she likes, really. So, um, some of that um, uh, upholstery silk I've still got in my stash. Uh, and it's uh, popped all the way through the linen and the silk. It's popped all the way through um, on tabs and little pockets and things. So the first thing I've got here, I've got um, just some, I might not take it all out, but everything's backed onto paper, um, not coffee dye, but this is like a, this is this paper. It's, a, it's beautiful. And um, this here, this beautiful image here is from a, a Deb, Debbie Ann, Debbie Ann Parent at Ephemera's Vintage Garden. Um, some loads, I've got quite a few of these labels, these bungee labels from Nikki Ad Ad Adagon and um, they feature throughout both journals. So as you can see, this is from a colouring book and I used some of this in vintage magnolia as well. Um, lots of washi and a bit of stamping and as I did with the vintage magnolia I had these uh, four of these cards called Wardian Cases from Nick the Booksmith and I made something different with each one of them and I've done the same again. So on this one all I did was, I pinned it in, so I popped in, and this one's a floating pocket and um, it's beautiful if you can see that, but it's a floating pocket and what I've put it on the inside um, is a beautiful, this is a card from the Graphics Fairy, the Graphics Fairy from the Premium membership, membership site. So that's popped in there in the back. And uh, just a little, I've just popped this little image in here. I love it. I love it. Um, I, I've got quite a few of them. 
but it reminds me of like a real paradisaic earth and I just want to pop that in. So yeah, just to say that the dangle does flip up so that the um, book can, uh, the journal can stay flat and just stay flat to work in. A little bit of just some different sized papers and um, vintage birds and uh, this is for my, um, this beautiful papers for my ephemeras, uh, Ephemera, vintage ephemera box from Rosie R. Atelier. This is just some um, something for my stash actually. Some what's the word I want? Uh, scrapbook paper for my stash, which I found and have cut up into these individual cards. And um, this is another one. I just love it. Look how beautiful that is. That's from Debbie again. Debbie Ann. That's from the Ephemera's Vintage Garden. And um, on Etsy. And as you know, she has a YouTube channel, and I think she's on Facebook as well. And I just love these colours. I love how these go together. So these are featured throughout, and um, Pam can do what she likes with them. She can keep them in this journal. She can pop them somewhere else. These pages are from a scented garden, and it's an absolutely beautiful book. I have two or three of them. Little stamping there. I thought that looked lovely. Stamping and again uh, a paint chip just because I like the look of it really and uh, on this side just a little journaling card from a scrapbook paper that I have this um, is from a what's the word stamp collectors album um, and it's empty um, and I've had this I can't, it's from the 60s I think but I've reinforced the spine I just think it's lovely, it's a lovely feel, lovely colour, and so that features as well. I've popped it in throughout, just little different ones with the little stamps on the top throughout the journal. This little um, lovely was from the, um, uh, yeah, I think it was from a butterfly book that I have. Yeah, a butterfly book that I've actually used. And um, it's actually a very old, um, a copy of an old book on um, butterflies theatre of insects um, so I just popped that in there I thought it looked lovely and let's put that back in especially with the um, blurb on the side here about butterflies in the garden it's just lovely the, the, the write up's lovely it was very interesting so I thought I'd leave it all in it's a beautiful book a bit of washi uh, more from the scented garden that's gorgeous about the beehives. That's from Scented Garden as well. Lovely. So, such interesting bits and pieces. Um, I have some um, vintage um, tea card um, albums. So there's the, they're actually, you know, the, the cards actually in the albums. And so I've taken some to pieces to share. So that, um, yeah, a little journaling card there as well. What a beautiful image that is. What a beautiful image. And it's got a little write-up about a bit later, different flowers and what they mean. I love this paint chip and I love the way it looks, this paint sample with uh, this paint here and I left it as is. And just popped that like so. I love this and I just think you could journal on that should you show wish. This again is from Ephemera's Vintage Garden. Oh uh, no, it's not, sorry. Pardon me. This is from... The Graphics Fairy. Yeah, this from the Graphics Fairy. Now this, I just absolutely love this image. And uh, I just adore it. And it's all about... Um, once you take these... So this is just uh, one of these uh, fern cases. It's just a journaling card. And um, it's just about um, glass houses. Glass houses, but it's just so lovely. And I had... In the vintage magnolia, I use this as a centre as well, and I just thought, oh, it's too beautiful, too beautiful. The lady here sewing, it's my art book, and um, this is my art book as well. I love it, layered. And um, again, what I did with another one of these is just made a little, a little book with it, a little um, journal, and um, I did that with the mm, in the other. So it's, um, a floating pocket, I've done a journaling card, floating pocket journaling card, and a book. And with the fourth one, I just made it into a little page, a flip up page. Very interesting read, that is. 
uh, label and again I've just popped um, so the other side of that paint thing there I just love the names I just love the names and um, I have these as well these are just basically um, these beautiful images prints or stamps I want to say are from um, our atelier Rosie our atelier I have four of them and I've tried to put those throughout So lots of room for journaling, but lots of interest as well. Um, this one I think flips up this cover. Um, if you can see that, that flips out like so. And I love the colours on there. And let's move it back again. Okay. And these all come out. I've done about three pages from the book because so I couldn't bear to cut them down. Uh, this is for my butterfly book because uh, Pam loves butterflies. That was the only thing that was different from, from this book, uh, this journal. She really loved butterflies. And so when she, we were talking it through, she said she liked purple and green and butterflies. So she'd love something like vintage magnolia, but butterflies added. So that's what we've done. I love how that, the colours then reflect each other this is just absolutely gorgeous and I just thought nothing needs to go on here because that is a beautiful beautiful tulip image this is from a reader's digest book on garden design which I was saying recently there are so many that's a little stamp so many of these gorgeous books that have been that are in the charity shop they're very very cheap they're about 70p maybe 50p some of them and people just don't want them anymore so they there are loads so some I've I've kept a couple different ones just to look at and some I do buy so that I can take them to bits to share and I know some people don't like that but I think they'd either end up probably in recycling I don't know you know to actually be shredded to make other things um, because they're just so common I don't know if it's the same in the States but that definitely is the case over here The wind's getting up. I thought I'd come out in the garden, but there we go. Uh, this is from Ephemera's Vintage Garden. No, it's not. Sorry, I keep saying that. Graphics Fairy. Graphics Fairy. And I've just made it. So it's a little pocket uh, with a, a journaling card to match. And I thought that was beautiful. So I've backed it onto paper and I've just popped a little snippet of one of the butterfly pages from my butterfly book in the back there and again Pam can leave it there she can pop into something else should she wish there we go that's the first signature second signature cover uh, that is um, it was from a charity shop it was to do with its embroidery I think um, an embroidery thing but I just loved it um, when I saw it I just automatically thought of this journal so I popped it in there Again, you can see, I won't get it all, take it all out, but this is really, really uh, an interesting read as well. And uh, just a little bit of stamping, a little bit of stamping on here. And this was, um, I was going to put that, it was, it was difficult um, on the front of the second signature uh, to echo the vintage you know to the front of the first signature but anyway I didn't so this is a napkin on the vintage music paper and backed onto scrapbook paper and I love it absolutely love it but I popped it in there because I love the combination of the purple and the green for Pam so that's kind of that's where I'm going with that again uh, this one now is from the Ephemeris Vintage Garden and I just love if you look at some of the beautiful names of this um, these paints. Mizzle is one of them. Um, my friend, you know, if you have like a heavy drizzle, some English winter days can be like that. You can have weeks like it sometimes. And my friend calls that mizzle, that misty kind of damp that just doesn't go. 
So that again, that's from the uh, another part of that page. This is the silk from the um, uh, the collection that I have, the ephem not ephemera, upholstery um, silk and linen. And I just thought that looked beautiful, so I popped it in. <laughs> That's a, a pocket, should you permit to put something in there, or just admire it as is. Um, just had this in my stash, and, the, and that is the back. And I just thought, and that's the front, and I thought, do you know what, fold it over. It just goes really nicely, and there's a little journaling card. Um, I love that silk on the side there, there's a little tab, and this image is beautiful. Beautiful. See, I don't understand. I suppose people Google everything now, so they don't really want reference books for plants, but... The images are so beautiful. So I've just popped another piece of that journaling paper from uh, from my vintage ephemera box from Rosie. I popped that there for journaling. Just echoed each side with some Tim Holtz washi. Thought that looked really nice. This is from my art book. I just love the colours on it. Popped a little label on the side. I loved how the, the colours sort of go in for, with this. With these lilies and things. Yeah, it's quite a little warm vibe to that part of the spread. Now these are from the book. This is beautifully, this is beautiful paper. I can't remember where I got that from actually now. But these I just left as is. I was going to try, I actually had thought of sticking these together to make this a centre spread. Because it's lovely. But um, as it is, I just like these two. So, you know Pam, you could always make this into a pocket glue these down should you want to but I've made them into a centre and I've just popped some little bits of stamperia paper on the bottom this I think is absolutely beautiful and I was looking because I filled iris up with lots of irises or are they iri I don't know irises probably <laughs> and uh, but this one I thought uh, because it was on the back of that page look how lovely those are they're just so gorgeous, these images. They need to be just admired, I think. And this uh, fourth Wardian case card, I just made into a little like, page flip. Open there. Love the way that looks. Just a, um, an old, this is just an old um, book that I have on country flowers. And it's such a dated, it's such a novel kind of cottagey um, image and it's got this beautiful poppy on the back so I just left that as is and popped some silk on the side. So that's another piece, uh, another of those stamps from our atelier. And um, so yeah, um, you know, do what you want with these. I love, I love the, um, oh, what's the word? The, there's quite a write-up on the history of these different colours and paints. But you can always uh, put them in pot as pockets in somewhere else. Put some stuff on the back to make journaling spots out of them if you want, or just leave them there. Look pretty. It's really up to you. Oh, beginning to get a little bit of rain now, so I'm going to have to run. Beautiful, Femmer's Vintage Garden. We've had showers all day, coming and going. There we go. And I popped just this little, I haven't popped anything in it, this little um, glassy uh, layered um, envelope in my, in the back here. I did pop one into the Vintage Magnolia one, and uh, you can leave that in there. Or oh, do you want something else with it, should you wish to? Again, beautiful, beautiful, and I thought I loved the way. Let's just pop that, not even like that. Let's just pop it like this. I love the way these colours come together. Really love the way the pinks and the greens come together. And that's the back. And there you have. There you have an enemy. So she'll be wrapped in this. This little uh, beauty here with some lace. And so the next thing, so this is all spoken for, we'll be going off tomorrow. And here uh, we have Iris, which I'll do a flip through of, and Iris will be available. Take care. Bye bye. Bye.